One thing I was going to point out real quick. So, on days when you have a lot of trading range price action, and you get you get a bear breakout, such as this bar at 1035. One thing to be aware of is, first off, well, anyways, uh, one thing to be aware of is we got a bear breakout, big tail, a lot of trading range price action, and this was pretty weak going up, so it's not a strong breakout. It looks like a leg within a trading range. And we got the bear breakout, and we got that follow through. So, and you can see we pulled back for about nine bars. And when this happens, it's a warning that you're probably getting a bear leg in a trading range and not a bear trend. So, when you get a bear breakout, bad follow through, another bear breakout. This is what's important. In fact, I'm going to highlight this. It's important because you have a lot of traders who will begin to start scaling in. So they'll buy above this bar, they'll buy above this bar, and then they'll buy more above this bar. So in other words, it's a final flag. You know, A lot of bears will get out above this bar and maybe above this bar, but then get back to short here, swing bears. And then they're going to get out here. So this is kind of one of those really high probability trades if you're aware of, of what's going on. So, you know, currently, you know, you're in a bear trend. Full bear leg in a trading range. you got a bear breakout sideways. We have a gap right here. And this probably will lead to a measuring gap, which it pretty much did. And the next question you have to ask is, you know, we're going sideways. So even if we fall below this, this bar or this bar right here, right here, we're probably going to test back to its high. And as I said, the reason is because bulls will buy up here, scaling lower. So when you get this breakout, be aware at this point, especially when you see the bad follow through, it's a reasonable buy above because the odds are this gap will close. It's probably not, you're not going to have most likely a measuring gap and a second measuring gap. That just doesn't happen in trading range days. And look what happened. This is the low of the day. Broke below, we're failing. You know, it's similar to, well, I'll show it, I'll show it in a minute. So, whole point. You buy, looking to take profits in this area. And this, in fact, actually tested the open of the day. This is similar to today's price action, where we got a bear trend, we went sideways. In fact, I'll highlight it. We went sideways, broke below yesterday's low here. Yesterday, so yesterday's low is, in fact, right here yeah so it's this line we broke below and we're failing so this still has the look of a you know at this point bear trend at this point bear leg in a trading range trading range price section here you know we're getting bear bar bull bars bat follow through so bulls will begin buying in here knowing that if they buy above this bar or buy this low anywhere in here and they buy more lower they'll probably make money so you know here it's a little more tricky but it's a really high probability situation you know especially if you're aware that that we're going to test that will probably test up to this high so you have to think about the math you know you buy above here you buy below whatever you have to risk in other words, whatever your target is, see it's about a one-to-one. -one. But so anyways, and on a day like today, there's probably a decent chance you'll test up to here. So with that said, 
final flags. That's what a final flag is. It's a warning that price may change, that price may reverse. And on a trading range day, these are high probability. However, you have to be careful on days like, if I can find one, here. This is not a trading range, this is a bull trend. You know, two legged pullback, bull breakout, sideways, another bull breakout, sideways. You know, you gotta be careful with that because this is a trend and this is not a trading range. So I hope this helps.